a sneak and expect tonight with PCBSD, a Unix-based system. Now, I've had this one recorded for a little while because somebody else put one up, and I thought, well, I'll let that get a few views, and I'll put my one up because my experience of it is completely different to old Timbo's. So, this is your desktop, KDE desktop, as you can see, KDE 4, and you've got quite a few on here. Then the bottom here, we've got User's Handbook. So what we're going to do, we're going to open them up and have a look at the user's handbook, which is online, viewed via Conqueror. You can put up for other web browsers if you so wish. They are available. You get the option when you first install the system, because you have to install it, really. You really do have to install it. And it's a big old DVD and a big old download. But for me, it works fine. This is their wiki, basically. It tells you all about it. And basically, anything you'd really want to know. So that's pretty cool. So... Also, installation for me on a Pentium 4 3 gig single core was 17 minutes from start to finish, which I thought was pretty quick because sometimes a length minute and it can take quite a bit longer on that sort of system. Down the bottom here, usual KDA stuff, clipper, clipper, sound, sound, up to date as usual, I fully updated it, although I am having problems with my resolution, I can't get it to what I want it to do. So anyway, we're going to open up this. I'm not software manager, put your password in. You'll wait a little while. Sorry, it's a bit laggy. You don't like recording either. But hey, I don't mind giving it a go. See how we go on. What are you at? So, software browser. That nah, looks pretty cool. Same sort of stuff. Say you had the software center in Ubuntu and other distros, all the stuff like that. And they've got their own here too. System updates, we'll click. It's fully updated. I've already done it. Install software. Well, I actually haven't put any on yet. Ha 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 ha. Software browser. We'll clicky. There we go. Let's have a look. So, chat or instant messaging. Let's have a look what we've got in the list. Quite a lot, as you can see. AMSM. Bitch X. I like the name. Oh yeah. Let's click see what it's about. Bitch X is the most popular IRC client among Unix systems. Nice name. It does a plain old job, really. So anyway, we'll go down the list. We've got to Bitly or Bitby, Gobby, that's a nice one. Cadu, yeah, very. Conversation we all know, Pigeon we all know. So we'll scroll down a bit more. Sim I am, hmm, never heard that one before. It's new on me. Skype, very popular as you can see. And XChat down the bottom, another popular one. Very good, I'm liking it already. So we're going to go back in the browser. What else do you have to look at? Uh, drivers. Let's see if there's any extra drivers for me. No. But there is drivers here for the Samsung printer range. Mm, so you've got Samsung uh, desk chips on it. They do a lot of laser printers on they, Samsung. This is the one for you. So yeah, what else we got? Games. This is what we've got in the game section. Right. A lot, actually. Quite a few. America's Army. Probably ain't seen that for ages and ages. I've been playing that a long while ago. Oh, Megatron, a Tron based system, Bomber Clone, Battle Tanks. You'll recognise most of these games because they're all Linux, really. All open source, all GPL licensed, you know what I'm saying? Flight Gear, it's got Flight Gear. I keep meaning to try the new one out. I just don't got around. There's not enough hours in a day. Frozen Bubble, another popular one. Glest. Glest, I haven't installed and played. Very nice. Another three pages as well. But we're going to go back and look at something a little bit different. Let's go next to Oh, yes. Multimedia. What they got in their multimedia section? Amrock, Adur, Asunder, iTunes. That rings a bell. I forgot what it looks like actually, so we'll click and see what it says. That's just, just a player, really, with a dodgy name. But hey, yeah, iTunes is on there if you really want it. You can download it. 149 meg download though. Ooh, that's a bit. Ooh, ooh, over the top. Audacious, small one. Audacity, we love it. Avid Emux, love it. DVD, love it. Excel, not one of my favourites. GDK Pod, Hydrogen, do them drum beats. Caffeine, like it. Caden Live and Keynote are also here. Last FM also. And there's another page after that. So that's quite a lot there too. We're going to go back in the browser, see what else we've got. Let's have a look. Oh, ba ba ba. No, that'll do. We're going to do something else, I think. So I'll close that window <coughs> and show you a bit more. During the installation, it only asked a few questions, and I was really happy about that, because I was expecting it to be a lot more complicated, and as somebody else said it took hours and hours to install, I thought, why, why comes mine wasn't like that? 
But hey, who knows? He may have been doing the internet version because you can just download a base and install it via the internet. That might have been a problem. I don't know. He'll tell me in so, so time, I suppose. So we're going to open up multimedia. <clears throat> For your video player, you have Dragon. KM player, Juck, I can't get to work. That didn't actually work for me. So, hey, that's, mm, no big deal, because there are other media players in the repos. Office. Right, I was expecting more in the office section. <clears throat> so, basically, you're going to have to download either the Open Office suite, or, on the other hand, you could just have uh, something else, even. You know what I mean? Yeah. Right, under Internet, bear in mind, this all comes on the DVD, by the way. This is what you get. Copets there. You got mail. What mail client is that? Is that K mail? I reckon that'd be. Etc. Etc. Yeah. Right. That's got the client. Or what you would expect from a KDE desktop, really. And I found when it's not recording, it works really, really quick. If I can get my desktop settings right, that'd be really, really, really put the icing on the cake, basically. So I go to the website, the PC BSD website. Have a look. Some of you may have already been here. Thought about downloading it. Thought, oh no, I don't want to do that. Well, if you've got a nice fast broadband connection, unlike me, it ain't going to take you very long to download that, especially if you've got no caps on your download. Yes, we are. PCBSD8, Hubble, tells you all about it here, bits and bobs, download it from here, whatever you want to do. Now, on the whole, I rather like it, and it's a bit of a change from an old Linux system. So, hey, give it a go if you can. Sneaky Linux going out. PCBSD, styly, I've said. <laughs>